Although large areas can be done with cotton balls, pieces of cotton. There are many, many areas that you have to go in with a Q-tip, with the cotton, just right up to the edge. The gold, for instance, you're not going to take a big swab and go over the gold. As we said before, it's, it's very fragile. Tough, but fragile just like some of us. Another place you're not going to go in with a large piece of cotton and wipe is near a signature. Think about if you're an artist and you're painting a picture and you decide at the end you're very proud of it, you really like it. That's when you sign the picture, right? And you might want to say, well, I have to make sure my name is legible. Maybe I'll add the date. So you put those things on. Maybe you grab a different pen. Maybe you grab a different brush, different paint. You put it on with something that is going to make it legible. Uh-oh, what if it's different from the rest of the oil painting? And what if somebody goes in and just tries to clean on it? And they find out, oh no, it was put on with ballpoint pen and I thought it was oil paint. That's a huge problem. So signatures are always treated very, very differently, very carefully. Just like this area right here. So this was a crack that the previous restorer overpainted, perhaps yes, filled in. I'm seeing adhesive along here. Hey, you still with us? Cool. If you like this, tap or click like. If you really like it, hit subscribe. Thanks. Now back to work. Now that adhesive may have come up through the previous lining, or they may have added a little extra on the surface. At any rate, it has yellowed, so we'll remove what of it we can, perhaps go in later with a stronger solvent before we put in our own fill and in paint. That hopefully will last about another hundred years with, before it discolors. So it's a little bit brittle. Not bad. It's hanging in just fine. That's what you want to see. Hmm, what a residual dirt right in there. Mm-hmm, could be. Cuddled up next to that gold leaf. I once had the honor of studying gold leaf application with a gentleman who restored the Capitol Dome in Boston. Outside, a huge dome. And he told me, you can only apply about this much gold leaf at a time. You can't do huge pieces. It's hammered out. I guess they can create sheets of it. But we think about gold leaf as being applied in pieces. You can definitely see that over here. Piece and a piece and a piece. You see variation in the surface. It's amazing stuff. Okay, back to work.